Icelandic cod loin. You see this MSC certification? Yeah. That means it's caught in a sustainable manner. On a hook, not disturbing the bottom of the ocean by via dragger or via big vacuum uh, nets to just drag the bottom and uh, ruin habitat for the fishes. So this is what they call it. This is what a lot of people are looking for this now. All the environmental people with the agenda that want to make sure things stay the way they were intended. Anyway, it's called MSC. And you can ask for that in different places. I couldn't tell you if every one of my species is MSC certified, but since it's on this box, I can say that it is. My farm salmon, I guess I'll show you one of those in a minute, maybe that's, uh, that's hormone and that's raised with no hormones, no antibiotics. But what happens here with this Icelandic cod, pretty fascinating. So they catch it, they catch it on, on small boats that have a bunch of hooks on a, on a line, like a, a tub trawl type of thing, and they have the big line of hooks on the bottom, and the fish grab it, they all come up, and they put them on the small boat, and then they'll row over or motor over to the uh, processing ship, a big, big factory ship, that will fillet the fish, and pack it in different units like this happens to be what they call a cod loin and all it is is these beautiful large cod fillets that it's almost impossible to find around these parts because cod has been regulated restricted and very highly you know uh, yeah, restricted there's only, there's only a certain number of pounds that each boat can get so you don't see much of this around here if you do whatever shows up is expensive because the demand is high for local cod but this is this product here is equally as good as anything like I say it's chemical free MSC certified and all that but here that's a gorgeous gorgeous piece of fish that could feed a family of four and it's and it's within the uh, same same cost or not less than what the American boats need to get for their fish they need to get money to fuel it and, but what happens is, the, I, I was saying how that fish gets brought over to the uh, processing ship, which has got, got room enough to land a helicopter on it. They throw pallets, of, pallets upon pallets of fish. In an hour or so, they're helicoptered over to Reykjavik, the capital, where they have, they throw it all on airliners. All the pallets and, you know, all, you know maybe hundreds and hundreds of boxes like this. And it goes all up and down the East Coast, West Coast, wherever they have orders for. New York, Baltimore, Boston. This fish has flown all over the world. And it is a gorgeous product. And it's new and it's fresh and it's uh, semi-affordable. But the uh, the timing of it all is it's caught. Same day to the pack, same day to the processing ship. Probably the same day over to Reykjavik. Sitting one night, get the plane fueled up. Next day or 36, 48 hours, it's in, uh, it's in the East Coast um, yeah, cities, ready for distribution. Like that came in yesterday, that's, uh, that probably was, you know, arrived at Logan Airport on Sunday night, picked up on Monday, and here we are on Tuesday, selling, selling beautifully fresh codfish.